Hello everyone, I'm Reno Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to disable Windows Store using Group Policies. I've logged in into my Windows 10 computer. If I quickly check my Windows Store, you can see that it's working. So I need to use Group Policies to disable it. So if I quickly close this, and if I just quickly show you the system properties, as you can see, the name of the computer is London PC one and the name of the domain that it's connected to is systemrecipes.com. Okay, so if I quickly close this, and let's move to our domain controller. So to create a group policy object, you need to go to group policy management tool. So we are here on our server manager. If you just click on tools, and then click on group policy management. In group policy management, if you expand your forest domain, and under group policy objects, you'll find all your group policy objects. So to create a group policy object, if you just right click and click on new, you can then name the group policy object. To edit the group policy object, if you right click the group policy object that you have created and click on edit. In the group policy management editor, you'll find two main configurations computer configuration and user configuration. We'll be changing the con uh, computer configuration. So under computer configuration, if you expand policies, under policies, if you expand administrative templates, and then if you expand Windows components, and if you select store, And as you can see over here, it says turn off the store application. So if you just double click that and click enable, click apply, click OK. If I quickly close this editor, now the group policy has been created. Now we need to make sure that we link it to the right OU. So if I expand my Active Directory structure and make sure that I'm linking it, linking the group policy to the right OU. So this is the group policy that I've created and I need to link it to my London computers OU. So if I click OK and now if I expand London computers you can see that the group policy has been linked to that OU. So now if I just go back to the Windows 10 computer and if I just go to command prompt and do a group policy update. So command for that is a GP update. So as you can see the group policy has updated. Now let's check our Windows 2. And as you can see the store app is blocked. So I hope this video has been useful. Please hit the like button if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and subscribe to my channel for more future videos. Thanks for watching.